Hello video villagers, it's Michelle from michellewhiteheart.com and today is day 21 and today we're going to discuss how to use keywords in your videos. I am not a professional in this department so I'm going to give you a very basic use of keywords because there are people who make a full living doing SEO search engine optimization and keywords and all of that that makes your video more findable on Google and within YouTube which are the two largest search engines mm -hmm. so excuse my phone so SEO is really important um, however I've also heard people who don't use it either so nothing to get too hung up about however there is a basic use of keywords that everyone should know and so that's what I'm going to teach right now so let's go to I'm gonna just show you doing it on one of my videos so I'm here I'm on my channel and to get to all your videos uh, go to the video manager right up here and then pick a video so let's just pick this video I don't think I used any keywords on it or if I used a few keywords here so go to info and settings right and this is something you all need to know this is where you get to change your title if you want to edit the title um, and just so you know this link over here is an alternative link to the link that appears when you click on the video in YouTube that appears up here. You don't use this one when you're in info and settings. You use it when you click on your video in the general part of YouTube. So there's that link and then there's this link right here which is slightly different and um, potentially a link to use if the other link your thumbnail isn't showing up Anyway, I just thought I'd mention that. So let's scroll down here. As you can see, we've got basic info and we've got the title. This is where you change, of course, the setting, whether you want to keep it public or unlisted, etc. Right here, you have the description of your video, which ideally mm -hmm. you would always put your website in here. Um, I'm using the 30 day video challenge website but as long as it's my main website is part of this website people are going to click on that link uh, to find out more if they're interested so always have that link in your description box and ideally so to use keywords you look at your title okay how do you make a video easy for you so basically I'm talking about how to make videos now I happen to have used an app called Video Effects Live, which it automatically put in some tags here. Video Effects Live, Video Effects 3, 1.10.0. So that's actually, mm -hmm. if I had wanted to talk about video effects in my title, that would have been good and people could search for video effects live to find out something about video effects live because I didn't really use that much that app very much in this video I didn't want to put it in the title because it's a little misleading because all I did was use the the cute little flowers that's one of the effects that they have so but just letting you know that when you are talking about a specific something in your video that's obviously going to be one of the keywords down here and so you click you just start typing you put your cursor in and then you start typing so I put how to make a YouTube video video strategy video marketing those were my keywords in here um, how to make a video easy um, these are things that I'm adding these keywords. I'm not really relying on them, but I am adding them knowing that if anyone were to search for how to make a video easy, 
I may come up in the search engine. Um, the more specific your keywords are, i.e. I. using more than one word, the more effective the keywords will be. Um, they give you suggested tags down here, which are other word names for keyword. Um, marketing, film, how to. These don't feel of any use to me. Um, so look at what your... Now the thing is also to maximize on the keywords is make sure that the words you're using in your title and in your description and in your keywords, if you use them in all three of those areas, they will rank higher in the search because you've used that same keyword three times in three different parts of the information, the title, the description, and the keywords. So I could just repeat in here uh, how to make a video easy for you. Um, or how to make a YouTube video easy for you. Now there is a whole thing that you can do to search in the um, Google keyword. If you type in Google keyword, planner is the new thing that you type in. Just Google keywords will bring you to Google keyword planner and there's a whole way that you can search and see what people are searching, what keywords they're using to find videos. Because that's actually how this whole thing works, is you have to figure out, well, what are people searching? And there's a whole science to that, which I started to study and then just realized I didn't want to learn it. So there are people who can do this for you. Um, I just, yeah, it's not my area of expertise or genius, so I'm not going to go much further in it, but I just wanted to give you a basics that this is where the keywords are that you type in, and you put your most relevant keywords at the beginning. You can fill this up, you can put 20 keywords in there if you like. Um, there are certain things, for example, I know someone who works with allergies, helping people cure allergies, and just by typing in the name of the allergies, that's what those people, they, she just lucked on it, and she just thought, okay, I better type in, you know, hay fever, or, you know, grass allergy, and people who have grass allergies type in grass allergy. So that was a very easy one for her, and not there weren't as there wasn't as much competition perhaps in that area so you're kind of dealing with competition in your field if a lot of people are doing the same thing you are keywords might not work as easily and you'll need more advanced ways of tapping into the keyword cracking that code so I just wanted to give you some basics on this um, thank you Jesse for asking the question I wish I could answer it better this is a very rudimentary um, introduction to keywords and I say experiment with it. For example, if you're doing aerial yoga, I would type in aerial, aerial yoga. Um, that's definitely something people will look for and make sure that it's in your title and in your description if you're talking about aerial yoga. So experiment with it and see if you can find out what is unique about what you're doing use a few words to describe it, two or more words, and that way you're going to start experimenting with keywords and which ones work for you and which ones don't. I once used the word juicy in my title and I got tons and tons of views right away. So juicy might have been a great keyword but it didn't end up serving me because people weren't necessarily looking for making videos. So they didn't convert, those views didn't really convert for me. Another situ another time I used, um, I should just show you, you can see how popular. So after you do all your keywords, save changes, and then I'm going to go back into my da my video manager and I want to share with you another video that I happened to discover was a very popular keyword 
I just had it in my title, so you don't even haircut. Okay, so haircut. This one has 413 views. That's pretty good. That's not really the one I was looking for. Um, I did another video with the word haircut and I got so many views so quickly. Here, my videos before and after hair balance, which is a type of haircut for the CBD photo shoot. I got 505 views. Hey everyone, it's Michelle Hart. Um, so, you know, there's this, again, a lot of views doesn't necessarily mean they're going to convert because it could be a fluke that the word that you're using happens to be in your title. For example, if you use it in your title and it's not really like haircuts have nothing really to do with my business, but it was part of this video because it was for a photo shoot. So it was a fluke that I got tons and tons of views, but it didn't turn into anything. Just like viral videos, they're great. I mean, it's fun that your video goes viral, but it doesn't necessarily mean anything. It doesn't necessarily convert into anything of value for your business. So I just wanted to share that information with you. I hope it's helpful. And um, keep up the great work. And for anyone out there who wants to join in the challenge, we're going strong until the end of March. So hop on in and um, see you soon. All right. Bye-bye.